mid-November and we're heading to North Wales. It's going to be absolutely freaking Baltic. Oh, in with the side track. Let's go. Wow, absolute stunning scenery this morning, man. Buzzing on this one, not going to lie. Well, I think it's fair to say we're at the point of no return here. Oh, mate, I can't go back. i got to go up. Oh, totally buzzing. Really am. What a freaking view from up here. Well, time to move on. I don't know what the temperature is up here, but it's getting pretty fresh. And I forgot me woolly hat. Hey, oh well, let's do it. Ridgeline Tastic. Bring it on. Woohoo! Buzzing. Totally buzzing up here. I hope you don't get a bit too sketchy. It does look nasty, to be fair. But, uh, yeah. So far, so good. Oh. It's going to be a lot of shots of scenery, I'm not going to lie. I mean, how can you not? <sighs> Mate. <sighs> this is what we needed, and this is what we got. Also, I'm no navigator, but it looks like that might be sort of Hollyhead and Southstack going out there, like the Anglesey sort of point, which is hopefully where we're going to be heading tonight. It looks pretty sweet. Oh, wow. I see what they say about it being steep up on top of the ridge, though. I might have to go head cam again. This is looking a bit gnarly. <laughs> I don't want to be holding the camera and uh, slip. Hey, head cam time. Uh, we've got a few guys in front that we can follow. That guy in the blue and white looks like he's struggling a little bit. Looks pretty good from up here. I'm buzzing. I feel like a billy goat. Let's get it on. All right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's see what he's sketching out at, though. He went right side. Should have stayed left side. It's just a slope. That's like a proper drop off on the right. <laughs> Buzzing. See why it went right side though. Whoa, sketchy here though. Yeah, buzzing. Wicked. Ah. <laughs> Proper little spine that you got to scramble on. Cool. Oh. Wow. Out of all the ridges I've done, I'm not going to lie. This one's the most sketchy. It's dead steep down there. And it's really freaking steep down there. And my heart is pumping. Oh, this is sketchy, man. Whoa. Oh, well, no turning back. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty worried at the minute. A little bit. It's, uh, yeah, it's not really a place I wanna be. Yeah. It was fun a minute ago. How things can change in the blink of an eye. Oh, my days. Oh, mate, resize the birds. Damn, there really is no escape from this bit. You just gotta go over, eh? Wow, buzzing. Whew. Feeling alive. All right. Whew. This is really weird terrain. I mean, I guess normally you could walk over it, but because it's so steep and such a dodgy little ridge, <laughs> you don't want to. Ah, oh. buzzing. Ah, wow. Whoa, I feel a bit uneasy. Damn, not even halfway yet. This is well gnarly, I've, I've got to keep moving, I can't stop. When I stop, my legs start shaking and I'm wondering what the hell I'm doing up here, but uh, oh my days, it is epic though. I bet I've got helmet head from wearing that strap with the out camera. Um, I'm getting a bit of a better shot of the uh, trail moving forward now. I don't know about this little sketchy ridge here. This is looking a bit dodgy, but uh, I think I might be able to cut through. There's a dude over there, so hopefully they found a trail. And then maybe I can cut to that path line and all the way to the top. It's getting late, though. The trail's getting gnarly again. I'm off on some pinnacle. We're trying to sketch down here somewhere. I hope I don't have to go up that thing. I ain't going up there. That looks mad as frig. That's proper climbing, that is. I'm not doing that. Well, I think we've got to climb up here. Oh, I don't know. It looks like there's a way down there, but it's slidy and sketchy. We're in no man's land again. And I don't know where anybody else has gone. I'm getting a bit worried, to be fair. It's getting dark and late as well. Oh, this is bad. All right. If I slip up there, I am fucked. Oh, man. And if I get up there and there's no way to go, it's going to be well dodgy trying to get back down. Don't like this. I oh, don't know what to do here. I'm a bit worried. Oh. 
if I'm honest. A little bit worried. Well, I'm not being funny. I'm up on a steep cliff here. Oh, fuck, it's slippery. It's more steep up there. I don't know what's up there. I'm going to try and bail back down, slide my ass all the way back down and see if I can hit the trail. I'm getting pretty worried now. If I slip and fall, there's no one around at all. This is getting dodgy. All right, let's see if we can get back down. I'm pretty worried, to be fair. This is not good. There's not many handholds up here either. Fucking you know, hell, man. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not cool. This was not a fucking good idea. Not at all. I don't know where I can go here. I'm kind of fucking stuck. And I'm shitting my pants. Alright, let's go. Maybe this is the way. Man, I don't know. Let's have a little look. It looks well trodden. Fuck. Yeah, this looks better well trodden. Shaking, not gonna lie. Oh man, please be some sort of fucking trail up here. Wow, oh man, I just don't know. Oh my god. Where the fuck are those dudes? Wish I had someone to follow. So fuck now. Ah, oh, I'm panting and shitting my pants. Ah, oh, I didn't want to climb up that. That was sketchy. I reckon I could have freaking gone round the bastard as well. Probably should have. Oh well, let's see. I wish I knew where those dudes were. Let's get down that little bit, I think. Oh, finally. Some form of terra firma, I feel pretty good about it. But now comes the next challenge and the next decision. Do I follow the ridge line up? It doesn't look too bad and try and get onto the normal trail or do I try and cut down somehow to that trail over there, which could lead back home or up to Snowden, depending on time scale. I just don't know what to do here. Another ridge at this time of night. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, let's go take a little look. <laughs> Check out this dude's tent. It's, uh, yeah, not very stealthy, but pretty cool. Look at that, it's got a clear top so you can watch the stars. Oh my days, that's epic. No, I, no, I really do appreciate you're not going to see much of this, but look, there's Crib Got uh, somewhere down here. Hang on, let me zoom out. All right, look, there's the Penway Pass, and Snowdon is freaking miles away. There's no way, there's no way. This trail goes forever, man. It's about another four hours if I trek on this trail. I don't know what to do here. I gotta be honest, it looks like we're stuck on this trail. I don't think I can go down. It looks like this scree goes down, but sort of there, there's a ridge line. I think that's a cliff or something. There's no way I'm getting past that. Oh, mate, we are stuck up here and it's getting well dark. Oh, man. Well, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and get down on the scree somehow. Fingers crossed I can get there before we lose the light. It's just getting too dark, even though I've got head torch. You don't wanna be up there on that ridge with no light. It's getting sketchy already. Well, it's definitely a cliff here, but I think maybe I can get to that squee over there. I'm gonna try. Slide down, maybe. Well, this little bit here looks like my last obstacle. I don't know if it's rock or mud. Oh, this is fucking sketchy. Steep, though. Maybe this side's better. I don't know. Let's have a look. I'm getting a really wet ass. I know that. Sliding on the grass. And I'm fucking tired. Damn. It's just this last cliff bit. That's where I'm struggling, eh? It looks like there's more down there. Oh no. This ain't the end of it. Wow, oh, this adventure's turned into a little bit of a nightmare. Oh my days. Oh my days. Terra firma. I appreciate you ain't gonna see much. It's in the dark, but uh yeah. 
made it down in one piece just i'm gonna have to get the head torch out i got about another three hours hiking i think to back to the car but uh yeah we're off the ridge and we're safe all right it's a little bit of scree home and dry well i don't know how much you can see of this but finally we hit a trail i gotta be honest it looks like snowden beat us again there's no way we're hitting the peak today it's pitch black even though it's only half past five at night but well, I'm gonna have to try and bail back to the car and uh, think about some food. I had a bacon sandwich and a handful of peanuts all day. Oof, I am wasted. I'll see you back at the car. Well, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever been so pleased to see the car. I'm totally bushwhacked. Whoa. Oh my days, what a day. I've been wanting to do crib gok for years and finally, finally did it. It was pretty epic. It was very gnarly and very sketchy. Snowden Peak slapped us in the ass again. And then we nearly got lost and stuck on the mountain trying to get down off that ridge. Wow. What an adventure. Freaking eh? I am battered. And I've got to be honest, I think I'm going to do something on the channel for tonight's meal that I've never done. I'm going to be buying takeout. Whoa, whoa, get out of the park, you know. I'm totally, totally exhausted. I really don't think I can cook. And I got like a snippet of phone signal for a split second and managed to find out there's some takeouts in Lambaris, which is about seven miles away. So I think I'm going to change these absolutely sodden clothes, get my stuff together, and then we're going to head down and uh, see what munchies we can find. Oh, bring it on. The little old town of Lundberis then at the foothills of the Snowdonia mountain. Pretty cool. Somewhere, there's a takeout. Let's do it. Let's find it. I'm so hungry. Oh. Oh, I think I see it. I think I might even be able to park outside of it. Oh, my days. Legend. Oh, amigos. There it is on the left. Right. Right, let's go see how much grease I can muster up in one portion of food. This is gonna be good. Oh, a Hawaiian burger and french fries. This little puppy dog should go down well. Right, let's find a little spot where we can scram it up. I think there's a park or a car park near the lake here, so I can take a right here. Let's have a look, yeah. Yeah, that's a good place for breakfast here on the left. Really good place, don't know the name of it, but Right, let's find a little spot. You do? I mean, I could stay here overnight. Not being funny, it is a spot. Could stay here overnight. Probably not gonna, but you could. Right, food time. Let's do it. Oh no, I've knocked the light. Nightmare. Quite important there, we've got food. A bit late, it's not gonna be as good as our normal culinary expertise, but I may not spill anything or burn myself tonight, so there's a bonus. Here we go then. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> Dude, it looks all right. Oh, wow. Mm, ish. Oh, wow. I don't know. Hawaiian burger and chips, everybody. All right. <laughs> and I'm not going to mess about because the new season of Top Gear's just started. So, right, munch up. <laughs> Looking good. Well, I wouldn't say the belly's full, but it's better than it was. But I know one thing. I'm not going to hang around here. I think this is the local drug dealing area. It's just some... Uh, Teenagers blasting some M&M &M and some dodgy car that's just buzzing up the road. You may have just heard him right there. I think he's just dropped off a bag of summer. But either way, it is what it is. Uh, we're about 45 minutes from Hollyhead South Stack, so I think it's about time we got on the road. It's about 9 o'clock now, so we should get there about 10 o'clock. Let's do it. Let's go get these whippersnappers a drive-by. All right. <laughs> yeah, I thought about staying overnight here, but maybe not then. This is the local drug dealing yolt hangout. So a little bit more about this South Stack place, and it's basically a cliff top with a lighthouse there. I don't know too much about it, to be fair. I saw a picture of it. It looks amazing. We're heading there now. That's kind of how this works. But I do hope that we're going to be able to stay there. I'm not sure if you're officially allowed to stay there overnight. And I'm actually hoping there's going to be a bit of company up there, to be honest, because it could be a little bit sketchy on a cliff top, on the edge of angle set, on my own. But I guess we'll find out when we get there. So let's do that. Holly Island, all right. What the heck? 
The place is called Holly Island, how random is that? Hey. Right, this is well random, we're in civilization, we've got a little town here. Totally not expecting this. I didn't know what to expect. Not this. No. I got this sketchy feeling that we're like close to a town and there could be like youths up there in the evening. It is Sunday night like I say, but I'm getting a bit paranoid if I'm honest. It's been a long day. Thing is, like we're only three miles or 2.7 miles from where we're gonna be. It's not far, only seven minutes. Oh mate, this is well sketchy. We're two miles away and we're going through a council estate. This is not cool. It might not be a rough council estate, but it's a council estate. Oh man, this this just does not look cool. Oh wow, we're here. What the hell is this? And the road's still going. Oh man, there's a car here. That don't look sketchy, does it? All oh, right, this is it. This is the car park. Okay. Is it a pan display? What? Let's check this paint and display thing out. What's going on with that? Well, there's a paint and display. It sort of charges per hour and doesn't really say anything about overnight parking. Um, but I'm not too sure. I feel too safe here. It's a bit exposed. That one car that was here is gone. And the problem I've got without jumping on park for night and now I've got no signal where I am is that the only place I know where I could stay is back in Capel Curing, which is about another hour's drive back where we've just been. I guess what I'm gonna do is just set everything up in the back and then see how I feel. I'm gonna move around the car park and find a better place to park as well, I think. But, uh, hey, let's do that. Well, everything's set up in the crib and I've got myself a nice salted caramel New York coffee, no less, to go down the hatch before I get to bed. I think I'm going to stay here for the night. I kind of wish I'd stayed in Capel Keurig. I knew that spot and I know it's safe. But this place is what it is. It just feels a little bit isolated and a little bit exposed. Somebody's just pulled up. Oh, uh, somebody's just pulled up and we're kind of being checked out. I don't know. I'm gonna go have a look. Well, absolutely no idea what that was about. Some car drove into the car park, drove past me, down to the next car park, turned around, and then drove back out. I guess we were just checking the spot out, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed, I'm gonna stay here, I guess. <laughs> well, I've heard the rain pattering on the roof all night. Let's see what the world's looking like. Oh, mama, it's a little bit grey today, it's fair to say. <laughs> In all fairness, this is kind of what I'd anticipate for today, which is why I did Snowdonia and Crib Got yesterday, because the weather report was looking pretty damn bleak for the Monday. Arr. I guess in reality, it's going to put our plans a little bit on head. I don't think I'm going to be hitting Black Rock or the Boffy today, but that bodes well for another trip. I think what I'm going to do is just make the most of being in an epic little spot. I'm going to go check out the lighthouse later, but more importantly now, oh, I'm going to get some coffee and breakfast on. Let's do it. Time to find out how bad and mouldy the uh, the meat's gone. I'm hoping it's still okay. It's been out from home for two days, but it's been in the cooler box. Cooler box probably only had about, I don't know, five hours worth of power, but moment of truth, me. That bacon still looks good. Good, because I'm starving. Right, let's get some of it on. <laughs> wow, greasy as bacon, really greasy everywhere. All over my fingers, sausages and some mushrooms all right and i might even stick it in a sandwich at the end boom oh wait eggs how can i forget the eggs oh man frying pan's covered in rain <laughs> nightmare it really is a grim old day today all right tools for the job bring it on proper autumn day today cold weather bit rainy 
you know. But it is what it is. We're on South Stack, man, on Hollyhead in Anglesey. How cool is that? And <laughs> it's a Monday. Nice. All right, let's get this bacon in first. Oh, wait. Shit. I don't want to cook the bacon first. Damn it. I want to cook the sausages first. Oh, my days. Get out of there. Oh, I'm going to have to touch it again. No way. Cursed with the bacon slobber. I was considering trying the toaster out again, but you know what? Oh, I can't be bothered. It's too much hassle. I'm pretty sure I could get it working properly. I know it didn't work very well last time, but uh, I don't know. What the hell? Look at these things. Not much of a sausage, that ain't. <laughs> Yeah, they were the cheap ones from the corner shop. Oh, my days. Oh, they're going to be consisting of pig nose and uh, a bit of Parsons nose, I guess. All right, nice. Meh. Oh, they don't even feel like real sausages. They feel weird. Everything I bought this week for this trip was, like, from the corner shop. So it's uh, pretty low grade, let's say. You do, you do. I gotta be honest though, I don't really care. I'm absolutely starving. That flipping burger and fries was kinda good, but it just did not fill me up last night. Oh wait, wait, why am I fingering it? Got the tongues with me, man. All right. Damn it, I could have done the bacon like that. Ay, ay, ay. So far so good. Only burnt my fingers a little bit. You didn't see that. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Here we go again with the greasy. Not a fan. Wow, some proper smoke going on, you know. <laughs> Good bit of juice coming off the bacon, though. That looks nice. Freaking eh? I don't know if you can even see anything with all that smoke. All right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the frying pan. Yeah, what's up? Ah, need a bit of... I don't want to open the window, the rain's coming in, you know? It sucks. It's only drizzle, but it's enough, you know? Big mushrooms, pretty good. I don't know, maybe, we'll find out. Did you skin them? I skin them, man. Big ones like that, I like to skin them. I'm not a massive fan of the skin. Smoky, eh? I always done it though. Skin them alive. Oi. Last one. Come on, you can do it. Don't want to burn everything. Should have prepped these earlier. All my days. Stress, pressure. Get an egg in. Go, go, go. It's all cooking on gas. Wait up. Nearly went in with the fingers then. All my days. No need, no need. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh, a little bit of finger. Who cares? All right. Oh, no, don't go in the egg. Stay there. Look at that, man. Feast in the morning. All right. Absolute feast in the morning. Arr. Right, let's get it plated up. Right, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on the old uh, sandwich. Oh, Bernie Bacon. Ow. And a sausage. Oh, what's left of it? Yeah, they don't look great. And maybe a couple of sneaky shrooms on there as well, eh? Should be good. Right. Meh. Not a bad one. Let's see if we can get the rest of this on the plate. I don't even think the egg's cooked. It's been going about 10 minutes. Look at it. Oh, mate. Come on already. You know what? I got a plan. This will work. And it did. Damn you. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Breakfast is served. All right. And all my days, the freaking sun's coming out. What the hell? Happy days. Check that out. Ah! 
Ah, oh, look at this. Turned out nice, man. Freaking blue sky coming at us. Ah. Oh. Ooh, looks grim as hell over there, but what the hell, blue sky. Oh, them belly full. And not a bad little spot for it, to be fair. I mean, come on. We're by the coastline, I can see the ocean. And I was just thinking, you know, this trip so far has been pretty damn good. I really wanted to kind of push myself a little bit, either like with a distance covered or the elements or basically like scaring the living shit out myself. And I think we pretty much covered that well on all three accounts yesterday. But enough of that. I think for now we should make the best of where we are and go get a look at this little lighthouse thing. Well, I'm not going to lie, the weather's as grim as a witch's mole, but it is pretty sweet being up here near the coast, near the ocean. You can smell it. I can hear the seagulls buzzing around. Actually, there's birds and stuff are like flying really low, to be fair. They've dip dived me a couple of times. Weather's not great, but it's kind of clear enough to get a view down the coast. Pretty nice. It's been a long time since I've been near proper coastline like this. We did on Stanton in the summer, but a little bit different to this. This feels more rugged, bleak, and a bit more epic, you know. Well, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought it was an old stony sort of ancient lighthouse type thing, castle on the hill, but maybe this is not the spot. I don't know. But we got a lighthouse on a pretty rugged looking cliff. Ah, uh, yeah. South set, pretty good. It's actually closed, you can't go in there. Well, I think I might have found a spot for a cup of tea. <laughs> Looks a wicked little spot to pervade the landscape. Look at that, oh, nice. Let's go check it out. Oh, nice. I don't know how wind sheltered it's gonna be. Oh, and there's some pretty big puddles around here. Well, I don't wanna get wet feet. Oh, let's check it out. Yeah, I was expecting a nice dry seat in there. Oh, never mind. Wow, what a spot though, what a shot. <sighs> right near the coast. Not bad. Wow, it's always nice being near the ocean, but you know what? It reminds me of Coast of Moo and living there years ago. It makes me wonder whether I should start thinking about a mega trip come the new year. To be fair, I've had South America on my taste buds for a few years now, maybe a few months there would be cool. Or a car camping trip through Europe, hitting the Alps and maybe some surf in Portugal. That would also be pretty sick. Obviously time will tell and that's for the future, but for now, we got the winter coming and some sweet ass little car camping trips. I've got a number of them already on the list and a few more I'm checking out. I'm just waiting for a little bit of snow. But for now, I got a five hour drive back to Leicester. I think this is probably gonna be a good point to end the episode. With the South Stack Lighthouse in the backdrop, pretty sick. As always, I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. Almost getting lost and killed on the mountain, a couple of decent spots to camp out, and, oh, a sneaky takeout. Promise I'll cook in the next one. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. Love checking out all your comments, for real. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy.